Hi, and welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. Now, this is going to be our fi absolute final video on the table set that we're working on. Uh, so we have now fully assembled it. We have modeled all our components. They are all together. We've input the bolts and nuts into place to make sure everything's held in place. And the last and final stage is just to give a realistic render, a realistic view of this product. So let's have a look at how we go around doing that. Um, so we've got our model. We needed to make sure that all our materials are applied to the model as we were going through. You could have done that in um, your individual parts as you modeled them, or you can actually do it at this point. You could right click onto the component and set the material um, uh, in the material options within each component. Um, we're not going to do that right now, though, because we have already preset our materials as we're going through the modeling process for these parts. So we know they are the right material for what we want. Now, to render this, we need to make sure we have our Render Tools tab in place. If we don't have that Render Tools tab, what we do is we go to the SolidWorks add-in, and we click on the Photo View 360 tab here. Okay. So we can do that uh, by clicking on it and producing uh, that uh, tab, which will add itself to your toolbar across the top or your tabs across the top of your screen. Once we've got that in place, then we are after looking at how we're going to render this. Now, there's a few things we can highlight. Uh, first of all, I'm going to do a really basic view of this. So we're not going into any too, too much detail. We're not messing around. It's going to be just a quick output of a render for this product. We've got two things that we can view. We can either view it in an external view format, so we render it out as an image in an external screen, or we can render it exactly where it is, and it will display it exactly where it is as a fully rendered component. Uh, it depends on how you want to do that uh, for yourselves. Um, this one will identify it out as in a format with how it would look if you were just to get an image of it. And this one will uh, render it as if you was to keep it in the environment it's in now. That's the only difference. Okay. Uh, so let's do let's do an integrated render for this one. So we click integrated render. That will uh, highlight that we want to do it in this section area, and it will produce a render of that component in that area. So you just got to give it a second to do that. So you can see how it's applying the materials to it. It's trying to make the product look realistic. Um, and eventually, it will take a while, but it will take away all the pixelation and give you a nice, uh, smooth-looking uh, product with the materials applied, as they would be in real life. Uh, we can move and move that model around, but if we do move it, it has to re-render, so we lose all the pixelation again, and it's got to re-render the product. The other method, if I turn that off, is uh, we can go to Photo View, and that will kick out a render of our image as a photo um, in the Photo View 360 format, like so. Again, um, it's it's very similar. It looks very similar. We can move it around a little bit, but it it is a little bit more. Um, well, not as sensitive to be able to move around um, uh, and a little bit more fiddly to mess with. We can select whether we want a full resolution uh, render or view, uh, and we can output this as an image straight from this area. The final way of doing this, if I just exit that, is go to a final render of our product, click on there, and it will just do the same. It will output an image now. Um, it's going to output the image directly again to that Photo View 360 um, software to just to give you a view of what the final product would look like. So you've got three options there of different outputs of how you could render your product. Now you can see this is struggling a little bit. It's just taking its time. Um, uh, it's just because we've done three quick renders back to back. There we go. And it's starting to render that product. Um, this isn't the most powerful computer in the world that I'm doing this on as a quick tutorial, so it will take a little bit of time to render up. Um, but as you can see, just three different methods of outputting a rendered um, view of your final model. Okay, hope that helps. Um, uh, and if you are new to the channel, 
please hit that subscribe button and uh, I will see you in future videos. Bye for now.